I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on volume of rectangular prisms. Determine two sets of dimensions for a rectangular box with volume of 1200 centimeters cube, right? So that is the question. So we have a rectangular box. Let us say, let's make one. So let us say we have this rectangular box and the volume of this rectangular box is 1200 centimeter cube. Now, what are the possible dimensions? That is true. So, we could actually have many possible dimensions. We say volume is length times width times height, correct? Now, we know the volume given to us is 1200. So, we could write 1200 as multiplication of three different numbers. We could say this is 12 times 10 times 10, right? So, that gives us one dimension that you know 12 times 10 times 10 will also give you 1200 right we could also write 1200 as we could write this as instead of uh, 12 times we could say 6 times 20 times 10 right that is also 1200 correct well that is also 1200 well we could also write 1200 in many different ways so likewise we are going to get different dimensions for the particular box, correct? So, so we could write 12 as 4 times 3. So, we could say 40. Okay, let's make it 3 this time. 3 times 40 times 10. So, likewise, we can make so many combinations, correct? So, now uh, you can take any two of them to answer this question. But you got the idea. How to write different dimensions for the given volume? So if the volume is given, volume is product of length, width and height. So we have to get three numbers which when multiplied give us the required volume. That is how it should be done. Now let me add a question for you. Uh, find surface area. Find surface area. So whatever dimensions you report, let's say you want to find, you say these two dimensions, then your question now is to find surface area for the rectangular box you mentioned, correct. Surface area, as you know, is twice the surface area of a top, front and side, correct. So you can do that. Let us do for one of the dimensions, let us take uh, the first one, 1200 as, uh, let's say this is 12, and that is 10 and this is 10. In that case, to find the surface area, what are you going to do? Surface area is equals to 2 times the area of front. The front area is 12 times 10. So you can say 12 times 10 plus top and bottom. Top is 12 and 10. So again 12 times 10 plus on the sides which is 10 times 10. So 10 times 10. Correct? So you can add this up. So 12 times 10 is 120 plus 120 plus 100. Correct? And then there's 2 times 240 plus 100, 340, and when you add this up, you get 680, and the surface area units should be, if this is centimeters, centimeters square. So this is all centimeter, centimeter, centimeter. And of course, these all dimensions will be in centimeter, centimeter, and centimeter. Correct. So that is one part, and then what you can do is you can calculate surface area for the other dimension also. Then your question will be, which box will have maximum surface area, right? So think about it. In your answer, which box will have maximum surface area? The hint here is uh, the box which is flat. So flat, flatter, so more flat it is, flat box will have more surface area, right? So which will have least surface area? Kind of a cube, close to cube, right? Close to cube will have least surface area, right? So this is our observation. So if you could make closer to cube, you may find lesser surface area but if you make it flatter and flatter, you will find that the surface area 
for the same volume for the same volume increases correct so that is how it is so that is an application for this particular question i hope that helps thank you